This is a quick tutorial on how to create a book in Canva and publish through Amazon KDP. This book will be printed as an 8.5 inches by 8.5 inches paperback. To account for bleed, my cover is size 17.318 inches by 8.75 inches. Remember to work within the margins in Canva and try to keep everything inside the blue box. I do not use a KDP template. Instead, I use my prior books as templates for new books. Be sure to be specific when using the AI generator to get the desired images. When complete, download your work as a PDF with print quality. Remember to leave space on the back cover for the barcode. Amazon KDP will input a barcode with your ISBN. If you are working with a publisher, be sure to include their logo on the back cover as well. The cover will be folded, therefore the left side of the page is considered the back cover and the right side of the page is considered the front cover. Avoid putting designs in the middle of the page unless your book will have a large enough spine to include a design or words. The spine size is determined by the number of pages in your book. For example, a chapter book would have enough space to include a design on the spine. You may have to change the layering of your design to achieve the desired look. Resizing your design elements can also help with achieving a certain look. For your AI-generated images, you may need to remove the background. For this, use Canva's Background Remover Tool. As previously stated, I use my already created books to create new books. To do this, I open my previous design, create a copy, and rename it to the new title. Do what works best for you. you will have to play around with different design elements. Here I had an idea, but decided it wasn't best. So I changed my path and found something that worked for the look I was going for. For an 8.5 inch by 8.5 inch paperback, you need to account for bleed by setting the size in Canva to 8.625 inches by 8.75 inches. All of my books include a copyright page. This page includes details about the copyright, publication history, ISBN, and other legal and publishing information. When using Amazon KDP, you will not have the ISBN until you start the steps for submitting your book. I usually complete my book, then complete the KDP steps and obtain the ISBN. From there, I insert the ISBN on the copyright page before downloading my book and uploading it to Amazon KDP.
I build each illustration from scratch. You may choose to generate complete AI images to fill the page. It's really up to you. As you can see, building from scratch can be time consuming and even frustrating. However, I found it to be the best way to get the images that are in my head onto the page. It does take patience and understanding of layering. Be sure to insert page numbers and that the page number is visible. You may have to adjust your layers for the page number to be visible. You may need to make minor adjustments to your AI prompts if you aren't getting the images you desire. Remember, be patient, but also be specific. Carefully inspect the images you choose to use as AI isn't perfect, and there may be minor inconsistencies in the generated images.
Once I am satisfied with the design elements, I lock them in place to prevent accidentally moving them as I continue to build the design. When I finish a complete page, I also lock the page for editing. Grouping elements together allows for cohesiveness as you move things around. You may need to create an Amazon KDP account if you do not already have one. Their system is fairly easy to use and walks you through the entire process. Be sure to provide all the required information on each page. My books are published as a series, so I created a series and every time I create a new book I add it to the series. This is just a demo, so I didn't fully complete the book information section. Prior to publishing, I will input a detailed synopsis of the book with an overview for the series. Keywords and categories are important as they allow people to find your books on Amazon. Be sure to complete the area for each. Here is where you'll generate your free ISBN. Don't forget to add it to the copyright page in your book. This is also the page where you will choose your book size, page type, and other details required for printing of your book. Make sure you choose the correct size and page type. For example, I choose 8.5 by 8.5 for the size and full color for the type. Because I use PDFs, I choose the option for bleed. I also like the glossy cover to make the book look more polished. Choose the options that best fit your needs. From here, upload your cover and book pages. Review them in the previewer to make sure none of your designs or words will be cut off and then approve. Now you can set your price and publish. For your first book, it may be helpful to order a proof before publishing. The proof will be an actual copy of your book and will you allow to see if adjustments need to be made prior to publishing. Congrats! You've just published your first print book. Like and subscribe for a tutorial on how to create digital books for Amazon Kindle.